Hi, Duke friends. I'm Adam Hollowell. I'm a Duke alum from a few years ago, and I currently work at the Samuel Du Bois Cook Center on Social Equity at Duke University, where I also am an instructor in the Department of History, the Program in Education, and the Sanford School of Public Policy. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Jamie, who can introduce herself next. Thank you, Adam. Uh, my name is Jamie McGee, and I graduated from Duke in 2016. After that, I moved to Berlin, Germany, where I'm now a full-time novelist and essayist. So together, Jamie and I wrote You Mean It or You Don't, James Baldwin's Radical Challenge. We first met in 2012 when I was working at Duke University Chapel and Jamie was an undergraduate student. And as 2012 turned into 2013, 2014, 2015, we were witnessing police violence and racial violence across the United States and not just in the US, but in Durham and even occasionally on campus. And so Jamie and I started reading together. We read James Baldwin in part because we weren't sure where to turn and in part because we weren't sure how to make sense of what was happening around us. The original culmination of that reading was a program, a project of prayers that we put on a website called prayingwithjamesbaldwin.com. And it was 30 days of quotes from James Baldwin, stories of police violence in the United States, and then prayers that we wrote together that we felt called to pray during that period of time. And after we finished that project and put it online for free, we put the project to the side. And it wasn't until 2020, uh, with the killing of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, that Jamie and I picked up James Baldwin again and started writing again. And now, a couple of years later, the product is this book, which we hope you'll read with us this summer. To be honest, we originally wrote this book for people like us people who wanted to make meaningful social change, really wanted to but didn't fully know where to start. We were really overwhelmed, but we didn't quite know the next steps. So this book is for anyone who wants to turn good intentions into really useful actions. Baldwin did say, it's not enough to have the right attitudes, to give money to the right causes. You have to know more than that. And you have to be willing to risk more than that. So this book is about embracing Baldwin's radical moral challenge. This book is about finding the courage to do more and to risk more. This book is about leaving the status quo behind and creating a new future, a better future, even when that's really uncomfortable, no, especially when that's really uncomfortable. This book is an invitation whether you love James Baldwin's work or you've never read James Baldwin, whether you've seen his speeches online or you're encountering him for the first time, we hope that you'll join us. We hope that you'll read some Baldwin and watch some videos of Baldwin. We hope that you'll read our book and find ways to get involved in your local community. And we'd love to connect with you over this summer or in the months ahead as you find out what James Baldwin has in store for you and what he's calling you to do in this particular moment in time.